Okay, so this was this was Alex's decision. I wanted a small boat. Here we are in this big boat with only the two of us. I would stop and wait for the friendship boat, maybe. It's right over there. Yeah, I'm I'm just afraid they're gonna go. That's my biggest fear, to be honest. Alright, it says no wake, Alex. You're creating a wake. Yeah, go slowly. Oh, am I in their way? Yes. Well, I think we're good. I think they're heading over to Boardwalk. Just go. Find one of the bridge. Yes, just go under the bridge. So, we have never. He has never driven a boat. So this is the first time for everybody. I'm terrified. It was forty-five dollars for a half hour. And then they charge you in five-minute increments after. We so, could have the speedster, but you know what? I wanted the speedster. I wanted to go out in style. Alex, Alex is all about style. Do you just make sure for folks behind you? Nah, you're good. good. Yeah, you're good. I can pull over now. Yeah, it says idle speed though. I'm not. Okay. okay. Can I go around this boat? Yeah, I think he said we could go all the way down to Hollywood Studios. So I think that that's the game plan. Pretty sure. We just gotta watch out for this guy. He might stop us if he knows there's a boat coming. But be careful, the garage, they said not to go near it. I'm a very good backseat driver. Um, your pick. Just don't hit him. Just don't. Oh, stop, stop. Uh, I think he's waiting for a boat. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's really fun, actually. We've never gotten to try this. It's a little scary to be driving this big, especially on your first try, so. Yeah, that's why I wanted us to start in the little boats, to be honest. I just don't want to get too close. See, they said they didn't want me to make a wave. Well, it's, the other thing is it's just naturally this way due to wind. That's the other thing you're not taking account for. Come on Be careful of the wall. Oh, look at the little speedster. Look at it. That's what I wanted to go on. Alright, can we actually punch it here? I would never punch it, personally. Um, I would just be careful, please. I'm scared. Okay, your call. What do you think so far? I think it's awesome. So we actually also have the opportunity to uh, get a radio on it too. So we've been yeah, there's a radio. radio. It's a very comfy seat. You can fit up to six people. Well, comfortable. But a very cool thing. Now they're going to be on my left when they're coming, or they're going to be coming. It's they're going to be on, on that side. So it's always on that side. It's like the road. Do you guys turn now? Yeah. I'm very scared. Not but I'm gonna not lie. bad, correct? I'm just, just very scared. Jet. Just like many things, I'm scared. You just scared yes, I'm always scared. In the words, that is that is who I am as a person. On the words, you paint, I'm on a boat. <laughs> I'm just always scared. Like it is, it is fun. It is great, but I would have preferred the small one because then I have more oh, control. No, I then I have more control of the space I'm taking up. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it big. Go big or go home. Like, I, I would say that this would be great fun to do on Seven Seas Lagoon, without a doubt. Oh, so but I feel like that. they'd like upcharge you so much. Oh no, we'll be trying that at some point. Oh yeah, we definitely will. Wait, is, but this like, my, is this my horn? What? Is the red button my horn? I think so. Why? So, I, I just it. slow down. Yeah, I think you can hit it and make a horn noise. It didn't make a horn noise though. Oh. Hopefully I didn't make hopefully I didn't turn out an emergency uh distract signal. Distract signal. <laughs> that would literally be just our luck. But like there's boardwalk over there. There's the swan. And we were we we, we you know, we had thought about going 
mini golfing like normal people. But, but no. no, Alex decided we had to ride a boat. <laughs> to ride a boat. I'm like genuinely scared, kind of. I'm more so. I'm no. It's to, nice and scenic. To be truthful, I'm not scared of you driving. I'm scared of us accidentally hitting another boat and then having to deal with that. I'm keeping this nice and slow. I know. I know. I'm, I'm just. Nice I'm just scared. I'm making this nice ride. I'm just scared. I think they always honk it before they go underneath. Yeah. So I think we're good. They also have safety boats out for all of you. We yes. have a whole little safety instruction that was kind of a little quick. So they yeah, are, I, don't think they, I don't think they realize that. I don't think they realize that I've never rid, rode a boat before. But. I think they just assume that if you're if you're doing this, you you've driven a boat before. But you know, here's, know. here's Alex. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, these people over here in the red Yeah, do you see, I, I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom they, in. They're in the red, they're in the red boat. So they're, they're here to tell you the boat's coming or coming. Cause they know the habits of the boat. They know their schedules. They know where they're, they're gonna be. They're both behind us? No. no gonna... That's one they thing know. you have to keep watching your back because I'm so focused trying to watch the front that you want somebody to yeah, you so want I'm just kind of like, this is great. I'm just gonna actually face this way with the camera. No, I'm We're just, just gonna enjoy. Enjoy your nice scenic ride. Like, yeah. See, I generally find water very calming, but right now I don't. Right now I feel kind of very nervous. I'm just gonna keep I feel like I feel like we'd see him right now and he'd get and he'd be telling us to stop. But they are only open till what five? Yeah, it's early. It's five o'clock. I think that's because they don't want anybody else to eat. Yeah, they do have like. I, I was reading the sign, they do have these cruise things where like, you can get food and you can get all this other stuff. I think he's going to have a stop again because I think we're going to come up on another boat. But I would definitely get out from under this bridge. Because um, the friendship boats have the right away. I think this would be a lot more fun if we had more people. Good to go. Thank you. Like, they'll signal to you if you're good or not. Like, they are very extremely useful. Look at the pelican. He's right over there. Ready? Yes, this is really He's right there. Right there. Right, right there. But yeah, Alex is enjoying his boat ride. I'm gonna have to get a boat. All right, bang the turn. Idle speed. Look at that bird. He's just sunbathing. He's showing off. Uh, I'm good. See, you can get I can drive. Yes, you can. I'm but this is this is not something we have ever driven before. Yes, yeah, so I'm a first time driver. Yeah, that he's first time. This way I think he's going over to Boardwalk, which we can head over that way and like go around the circle thing. Where's I guess. He, he's heading that way. So I think he's heading to Boardwalk. He's either one of them might be heading this way and the other one might be heading to Boardwalk. So you might want to go to Idol for a moment. Well, here's Alex on his boat. We've made one lap all the way around, one full lap. Once again, forty-five dollars for half an hour. Yes. So I can go how far? Um, I think up to the bridge. I'm not fully sure. That's as far as I feel comfortable going personally. Up to that bridge, up to that bridge all the way down there. So one thing they tell you: don't get close to these plants, the weeds, the grass, stuff. and okay. stay on the right side is the other thing. Correct. Stay on the right side. You have to be careful. The friendship boats. You have to be careful. Other friendship boats, boats have the right of way. They have the right of way. So we usually just try to say like that car, that boat is not all the way to the right. Side. We've just kind of been cruising up and down. But we're gonna put it a little bit faster. So but yeah, you don't want to get close to here. They tell us to stay about 45 feet away. Just so that way your motor doesn't get stuck. If you get stuck, there are people out here to help you, but it might take a little bit. Yeah. So you want to just you can, it's very enjoyable in my opinion. I think our funniest part is gonna be trying to figure out what we're doing. When we go to dock it. When we go to dock, dock, because I've never docked a boat in my life. Well, they said they'll help us. No, I don't. Yeah, they'll help us tie it up. And say they're gonna jump in the boat and they're like, let's just let's park this for you. <laughs> you gotcha. Well, I think it's like parking a car. Yeah. Well, no, it does. It's like parking a car. This is like driving a car. It's just a lot slower a little bit. 
Which Alex does not like. Alex wants to go fast. I'm not okay. Well, yeah, it's nice. It's fun. It's definitely different than anything we have ever done. You know me. I wanted to go mini golfing. Like, no. We had to rent a boat. I want Come on, you have to admit though, very nice scenery. I would do this again at a different place just to check it out. I would do it at Magic Kingdom. I feel like there would be more rules though and... Yeah. But, there'd be more rules? we're starting to come to you the mean, end. You mean they also wouldn't just give you a boat if you never ridden one before? I mean, they might. We're starting to come near the end. We only have like six more minutes left. So Alex, what are your final thoughts? Yes, they also said to avoid wildlife. If you see wildlife, go away from it. It's right there. If it is not a duck. What is it? I don't know, but it's not a duck. It's a duck. It's not a duck. Is it a snake? It's a crane of some sort. Okay, sorry. Sorry to all the cranes out there. But Alex, as we end our time on this boat, which which has been your favorite thus far, the boat or oh, the, the boat. bikes? I don't have to, I'll have to use the bikes. <laughs> I'm not tired by this, but I'm just doing everything. At first, when we sat up here, I was like, I was like, Ashley, we have the mini cruiser. Do we do we have to paddle it? Because I don't know if I can do that. No, it's it's a motor, as you can tell by those other guys whipping it. Yeah, me and Ashley aren't. I'm, I haven't tried to whip it. I one, as you can tell, and we already said, I've never rode, rode a boat slash driven a boat in my life, so. I, didn't want, I don't want to be that ambitious to ruin it, but it's a very nice boat. It is. But it's, it is getting near that time to end, unfortunately. Yeah, so, I, I do know. wish that they had Disney Radio on there, just automatically. Maybe you could probably pick it up. It's, just, it's kind of a pain to figure out because the stations aren't always preset. But this breeze is really nice. It's not hot on here at all. Yeah. It's really fun. Like, there's so much beautiful scenery that I'd be interested to do this somewhere else as well. It's just, I, I I want to do this at Seven Seas Lagoon, but I'd want to use the little speedsters. Oh yeah, we can try out the speedsters. I just want to give it a shot. It seems really cool. But you got the canopy, you got the radio, you got. Oh, like this would definitely be like this is the type of boat that people like go on for the you fireworks cruises. Entire, yeah, you do an entire family. Like almost all of my family can fit on this. They say six, but you can fit way more than six. Like, you could fit, like, two people there, two people here, two people there, two people there, plus the driver. Unless it's six plus driver, I don't know. But, yeah, it's quite enjoyable. Yeah, you have to look. They have some people out there, like the guy out there. Right there, with the red canopy. They'll tell you what to do. They'll tell you to stop. They'll tell you to go. No, you just have to be looking out on your own as well. They'll, they'll let you know what to do. Oh, we're being surrounded. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so overall, I'll give it a shot. Beautiful scenery. Very fun experience to try out. I think you had a fun time sitting, even though you were anxious half the time. Yeah. It's just the only thing is you just have to be careful for the boats, but I think if you really try to enjoy your time on it, it's worth it. Yeah. It's something you can't really do in many places. Like I said, beautiful scenery. It's not hard to drive. You, you don't have to drive do a car. You not need a boat license. Yeah. It's, it is time. And then we're off back to Epcot. So we're going to be doing our review of Chef's Difference. So That's another video. Let's bring this boat in. Let's watch as he tries to bring this boat in. Have you seriously forgotten where we got this? Jeez. Goldfish memory. Like the guy's already walking out waiting for us. He's like, you guys have been asking 30 minutes. Alright, let's watch Alex do this. Ease it on in. There's Alex as he docks. <laughs> Final thoughts on the boat? So boat, overall, $45, which there is an annual pass holder discount apparently. Yeah. So it brought it down to $40.75. Yeah. So that's roughly 15% off, I think. So pretty good deal. Not too bad. I enjoyed it. It's very fun to try one time. I think it was very scenic. You could probably deal with the speedsters. Those were a little cheaper. I think those are $32 for a half hour. I think they're $40 for 45 minutes. So it was a little cheaper. Fit two people easily. The boat we took, you can fit six. I think they say to fit six. So very scenic. I would say give it a shot. 
worthwhile you can fit a lot of people so probably better to have more than two people on them but it's still fun if you go to you can listen to some tunes on the way there is a usb port to charge your phone there's also a aux cord so if you bring your own phone you can listen to your own music as well keep that in mind it's kind of cool if we would have known that we would have probably From brought that, that cord. but there's nothing that's some bluetooth enabled on there so it's a little lower tech on that so you can't really do that but bring an aux cord you can listen to whatever you want fun fun time overall i don't know we can get ashley's thoughts on it as well i was having a blast driving it if it wasn't obvious it wasn't going too fast but i think it was just fun just to you know ride around all the waters check everything out see everything because you get a good picture that you can't really see when you're walking around and did not kill my legs doing that as well it was a nice kind of cool down after <laughs> having to ride the bike a lot so all right we'll go to ashley we'll get her review and we'll call it a day so we have ashley here once again we're looking to get the terrified co-pilot of the boat view I on her experience. No, Alex loved it and he had a lot of fun with it. But I sense a butt. Ashley was way too nervous. I, I was scared the entire time. I wanted to get the small boat because then I have a spatial awareness of how close I am to everything. But then there's no fun. Then you're not as comfortable. My biggest fear was that we were going to accidentally hit a wall or something. But I was good. Yeah. We didn't even come close. Try it out. I'd definitely say if you're only a party at two, get the smaller boat. I disagree, but we will I, respectfully disagree on that. I want to go on the smaller boat. Sometime. We'll consider it. Eventually. That's Once again, what I want to do. Pass all the discount on either, so that's yeah. that's something to keep in mind. DVC as well. Yes, DVC as well, of course. But, yeah, try it out. It's over here. Boardwalk is where we went. They that have beach club. the DVC. Um, the fact that they take the DVC displayed on the board. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the annual pass. Yeah, they didn't say on the that. So they some... mentioned it at the end. Luckily, they was... mentioned it. But at the same rate, it's over here by Yacht Beach Club. Yeah. Is where you can go out. They have it's they over have a by sign. The lighthouse. It's over by the lighthouse. And yeah, I would say give it a shot if you haven't seen it. Something yeah. that we didn't know about. I mean, we knew that we knew there was a possibility. That, we just but... didn't know it was that inexpensive. Ash was thinking it was like a hundred dollars, but yeah, it was worth I it. Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. I also thought it was funny that you wanted to take the boats because you can't really swim. No, I can't swim. Fun, fun yeah. fact, I can't yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, and they were like, "You don't have to wear your life jacket." And I was like, "Yes, I do." <laughs> <laughs> I was already, I was already clipping uh, my first buckle. <laughs> I was clipping, and I was just like, "I'll throw it on." Why yeah, I was not? like, "I'll just wear it on." But yeah, I didn't even clip it. That's all. And we're gonna head out out of here from Boardwalk. We were hoping they had Christmas decorations, so we had to make we some U turns on plans. We went to Boardwalk. There were no Christmas decorations yeah. up here. There are no Christmas decorations. So later week, we'll check it out. Hopefully next Maybe. week they have it. Maybe not. Maybe at the Monorail Resorts. So thanks for watching. We'll find out. Try out the boat. Get the bigger one. <laughs>